Hi there guys, my name is Dahlia and I'm an engineering student at the University of Pittsburgh. So to get started, let's figure out what civil engineering actually is. So a civil engineer designs and oversees the construction of roads, bridges, and dams. Civil engineers are knowledgeable in math, geometry, and physics, but also in material science and geology. So consider the Fort Pitt Tunnel or the 466 bridges in Pittsburgh. Civil engineers were involved in all of those constructions. In this activity, we are going to build a bridge and test it by seeing how much weight the bridge can sustain. You can follow along with the design used in this video or design your own. Also, you can experiment with different materials or methods to construct the most effective bridge possible. I would highly suggest that you print out this packet and follow along with the video. So all you need for this project are long pasta noodles and Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh laying around at home, that's totally okay. I have a recipe attached in the packet that you can use. So I would highly suggest clearing away a workspace and gathering all your materials. I also laid some paper down on my table so the Play-Doh wouldn't end up sticking to it or anything. And so now you can actually design your bridge. You can follow along with the design that I made in this video or you can create your own in the space provided in the packet. And I would suggest including measurements and as much information as possible so that when you're building the bridge, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And so in this next part, you can see the design that I used. So once your design is all finished, now you can start breaking apart your pasta pieces. For my design, I decided that each um, section would be two inches long. So as you can see, I made a little template with my ruler and I just broke each piece so that it would be two inches long. So for this next part, I actually started building my bridge. As you can see here, I decided to lay the Play-Doh directly down on the piece of paper. And then I used two uh, sticks, two two inch sticks of pasta to make my structure. And so you can follow along with the way I chose to construct my bridge or you can come up with your own way. You can choose to use less materials to make it um, more cost effective or just try and use as try to make your bridge as sturdy as possible and so again the choice is up to you So in this clip, I built one section of the bridge, but remember a bridge is uh, 3D, so you have to build the same thing on the other side and connect the two sections over top, which you will see uh, later on.
So here you can see the bridge is finally coming together. Um, towards the end of this clip, I will have finished my two sections of the bridge. And then the last step is to connect the two sections over top where we will eventually stack our books to test the load of the bridge. So when thinking about how to connect the two sections together, um, I didn't really plan this out in the design, which probably would have been more helpful to me, but I still used my two inch uh, pasta sticks to fasten them to the sections in a crisscross pattern. Um, I think this will be more clear when I show the pictures of the final bridge. So as you can see, I used a lot of Play-Doh, I used a lot of materials because I wanted to focus on this to make the bridge as structurally sound as possible. So again, um, you can decide to do this in whatever way you want, but again, I considered this structure because I wanted to distribute the load of the books as evenly as possible. So here I am making the finishing touches on my bridge. I'm adding more pasta pieces where I think it would help with the structural integrity of the bridge, but I'm also adding more Play-Doh to secure those pieces so that whenever I add a load, the bridge will not just completely fall apart. And so coming up, you will see pictures of the how my bridge looked, the final product. So once you're done building your bridge, um, I think it would be best to allow the Play-Doh to dry for an hour, maybe two hours before you apply a load on your bridge. So here you can see I am testing my bridge. I allowed the Play-Doh to dry for around an hour. And what I did was I weighed each book just to determine the load here. So this first book was 5.1 ounces. Then I weighed my next book, which was an additional, I think, 4.2 ounces. I was recording these values as well. But whenever I put that on top, my bridge slanted and fell apart. So my bridge met its max load at 5.1 ounces. So if you would like to attempt this again by building a new bridge and testing the load again, feel free to do that. Um, however, I will not be testing my bridge again, but I would like to see you guys... Um, record your, the load of your bridge and send in a photo and see if your design is more successful than mine. So looking at the reflection section in the packet, I would like you guys to answer what part of the project did you enjoy the most? Explain why. What part of the project was most frustrating for you? Building, designing, etc. Explain why. And if you were to do this project over again, what would you do differently? And please explain that as well. And so for the next part in the reflection, we have the question, what is something new that you've learned about civil engineering? And on a scale of 1 to 10, rate this activity. Um, so we would love it if you guys would take a picture of your bridge and your filled up packet and submit it. I believe that there, there should be instructions on how to submit um, everything on the website. So thank you so much for watching this video and completing the project.